Hey guys, I have a bit of a strange video here today. I, uh, as you can see from the title, as you can see from the screen right now, I wanted to help show everyone how to sell a reborn baby doll and just give a few tips and pointers. I also want to make a video on how to buy a reborn baby doll, but I'm just not quite ready to buy one just yet. Um, maybe after I sell this one then I will be ready to do that so what I'm going to do is I have a Microsoft Word document up and I've got all the photos of my baby already taken I'm going to go through the photos and just show you what kinds of photos I've taken of my baby and why and then as uh, on this Microsoft document here I'm going to write out an ad for the 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 baby that we're going to sell the the doll that we're going to sell sorry Let's start with going through the photos. So I'm just going to start at the top. These are all the photos I've taken. I don't know if I'm going to use all, but these are all the photos I've taken. So here is my Laura baby. And on top of her is a piece of paper with some writing on it that says my name, the date and the year. Uh, some... Uh, Facebook groups or groups wherever will not allow uh, the post to be uh, on there without the date of that day. So this is a little outdated. This is August 5th and we can see down here it's August 13th today. Um, I want to sell Allura but I don't. Like do you know what I mean? <laughs> I just every time I get her out I'm like and dress her I'm like oh she's so cute. But then I just don't choose her. I choose all the other babies to take out rather than her. And maybe it's her three quarter body. Maybe it's cause she used to have a large um, crying box in her and it made her hard. I don't know, but she is my first ever reborn. And I think it's time to move on and get another one. But I'm really hoping I don't regret selling her. Well, I don't know. <laughs> so first of all, I have safety photos. If this date and the date you are, that it is currently don't match, you may be asked to make another safety photo. So I'll probably do that for the purpose of this video, make a new safety photo up. But just wanted to show you that I do have quite a few safety photos. I have the baby uh, underneath the safety photo. You can uh, see that it is the same photo because my pen was just being a pain. Sorry, I mean the same safety paper. Uh, then I have just some really cute photos of her, just her as a baby kind of thing. I'm trying to show her face a little bit. You can see like her details here, her hair. I've taken a photo without her dummy or her pacifier on her mouth so that you can see what her mouth is like. Taken up a close up of those areas as well, especially her hands. Again, a close up of her face. Uh, she does have a little bit of paint missing here. Then on this finger, same thing. There's a little bit of paint here missing and a bit here. So I've shown a close-up detail of her hands. I've also taken photos right near a window and I did also use a big light so that these photos were bright photos and you could uh, see them well. Again, another close-up of her hand, just showing the details. Close-up of her hair. She doesn't really have any hair missing. I did notice here that there's some like, I don't know what that even is. It's like this is like uh, flaking up or something. Like maybe the hairs have come out here, but it doesn't look like they've come out. Or it could have been like that when she was done. I don't really know. But I've had her for like maybe four years, five years. I'm not sure. <laughs> A while. <laughs> Again, just another photo of her head. I've probably gone a little bit overboard with photos, but I would rather have more photos than less. Showing her feet details up close. You can see there's like a little bit of paint missing here maybe, and a little bit here maybe. So I'm gonna add that into the description when I'm selling her. Again, there's the top of her feet nice and close. The mot motling, modeling, I don't know how you say it. That stuff that's on their legs that makes them look like really babies. Again, nice close up. Again, same photo. This is also showing a tiny little mark here. 
I'm not sure um, what that is, but the, there's a tiny little mark. I've never noticed it until like looking at her this close to observe her, to sell her. And then I've pointed it out with my finger. I will also put that over here in my listing. Right, so that's what we want to add. I'm not, <laughs> I need to come through and do this later. But anyways, there's another photo of her hand and her painting. Other side, tops. <laughs> Another photo of her face up close from both sides. And then you can see her noses, noses, her nose is opened and there's her lips. I don't know if that's a bit of paint missing or like from wear and tear from having dummy or whatnot, but I'll, there's a photo of it. So whoever wants to see it can see it. Then I've taken a photo of her cloth body. So you can see, uh, if you have a belly plate or a body plate, it's probably good to take a photo of that. You can maybe use a little something to cover the private parts. There is the back of her. She has had her body played with. It it, um, it was unsewn and re-sewn back together. But it seems to be pretty good. And that's everything. That's all of my... F oh, wait. No, well, now we're going back to pretty photos. I think we've got... Another pretty photo with her, uh, a safety photo, so that I could use, I was going to use this one as the main photo, but I'm not sure if they'll allow this date, because it's quite, um, a long time. But all I'm going to do is just actually get her out right now, and take another photo, it won't be as pretty as this one, and just pop the date on it. Alright, this is not an ideal setup, but I have created a new... Um, piece of paper with the today's date on it and I've just propped her up honestly I'm in my office today so <laughs> this is the best I can do I've just popped her on a blanket and the lighting is not right I'm um, I just can't quite get the lighting I've got 27 photos it's not necessary to have that many photos but in my opinion, if someone wants to sell their dog correctly, the more photos they have, the better, the less they have to hide, the more safety photos in different positions, it makes you feel more comfortable buying the baby because I've got one, two, three, four photos of the baby in different positions with the safety photo that is the exact same piece of paper in all of those photos. All right, so let's go through and write our listing. The first thing I'm going to do is, let's let, write some notes for you. Do not use the word baby in the title or listing. Why? Why don't you do that? That is because Facebook thinks you're trying to sell a baby. <laughs> I did this not long ago. I was trying to sell my avatar baby and I posted her as avatar baby and I didn't even think it would be remotely a problem because well she's blue um, <laughs> like I can see how this could be a problem you know she looks like a baby but the avatar was not so I'm gonna write reborn doll for sale Jenna sculpt by Bountiful Baby. I don't really want it in all of this, but it's okay because you'll be able to see it a lot better in this bigger font. Now I'm going to list that she is three quarter arms oh, and legs. Not that I normally put this in my ads, but Genesis Heat, I can't spell that, set paint. Paint, paint, t -t -t -t. not painy. <laughs> Genesis. We should put that on the next line. Oh, her sizing. Where's uh, one, two, one, two, three, four brackets. Newborn size has a magnet or a dummy. Please use photos as part of oh, the description and then I will list some things so she has a sm small mark on her knee in photos 
What else was wrong with her? I don't think any more is coming off. I've never noticed it to get any worse. Some paint has come off her fingers and toes. Not really noticeable. You can find in photos. I might add her... <laughs> I'm doing this really backwards. Fingers, toes, and possibly lips. I don't know. And then we're going to go ahead. Yep, that's her fingers that we described already. Oh, yes. I don't know how to explain what that is. I feel like a good tip is if you're not sure, take a photo of it and let the, the buyer know. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't really see a problem with that. I'm going to grab the doll right now and just have a quick look and see what I think it is. <laughs> And I'm going to take some more photos of that. But that's really weird. I'm not sure what that... Oh, her head's fallen. Every time I pick her up, I'm like, I want to keep her. But then I, I just don't. Like, oh, I don't know. I hope I don't regret selling her. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this video and then I won't sell her. Who knows? <laughs> All right. That's that one. What's next? Yeah. Yeah, we've already spoken about some of the paint missing on the toes. We've written the small mark on her left knee. And that is about it, I think. Oh, yes, her body being restitched. That's about it. All right. Um, now we've got. The facts up here, things wrong with her or right with her or whatever. Now we've got to add some important details such as how much postage is, postage, how much it's going to cost, location, we're going to need a price. Probably good to put a price at the top, I might, um, I do normally put it at the top. Just quickly, I'm just going to let you, um, just remind you that the name on that's probably a bad photo the name on this safety photo needs to match your facebook profile or wherever you're selling if it's on gumtree i don't know if that would really work but i guess um use your gumtree profile name and put that on there if it's on ebay usually you don't need to put a safety photo up because ebay kind of looks after you but as a buyer, please do not buy a baby without using PayPal. I say this in every video that I do that relates into buying or selling. Just don't do it. Not necessary, but I am going to write no time wasters. And I'm going to say no holds without a non-refundable deposit. Sometimes, well, most of the time when you are selling these, you don't need to put like your your postal postcode or whatnot. A country is pretty good um, because usually you post anyways. Um, and then sometimes do you add like the postage into the cost or do you add it on separately or what do you do? <laughs> I want to add the postage in with it. And let's say, I really don't know how to, much to put her up for. I always like to go a little bit higher in case someone wants to haggle you down to the bare bones and offer you like $150 when you're uh, wanting to sell something for like $600 and you're like, that is not fair. That is not okay. You haven't even like, <laughs> you haven't even met me halfway. <laughs> um... Uh, remember, make sure your price reflects what's wrong with the baby. I don't think that she's in awful shape. Like, yes, she has a small mark on her head, a little bit of paint that seems to have come off, but I don't think that it's continuous. It's always kind of been like that. That mark on her knee is hardly uh, noticeable, and her body's been restitched. I don't think that's a problem at all either. So it's not like um, her arm is missing, or there's a chunk out of her finger, or you know, her hair's missing, anything like that. It's pretty minor things. I'm not sure how much to list her for. 
So I will think about that. I'm going to put this all at the top as well. Um, comes with a small box opening. So I don't like to list that. Okay, I found a price, 430 including postage, Australia wide. So that's it. I've finished my listing. If there's anything else that I need to add, I think I'll remember it. But what I'm going to do now is just copy and paste this. I've done it in a Word document so it was easier and there wasn't um, stuff kind of in the way, if that makes sense, um, if I was doing it on like a Facebook page. Now I'm going to go onto my Facebook page into Facebook groups that allow selling. Here's a good example, buy and sell Reborn Goods Australia. Now, because I live in Australia and I want to sell this baby in Australia, I am choosing to only list this baby out this baby in Australian websites. Now to do that, I've gone on, I've checked that I can buy and sell from all the groups, uh, the group rules, sorry. Um, admin takes no responsibility, so always use PayPal. I'm gonna click sell something. I'm going to upload my item. So I've got, oops. So here is my photos. Oh, how about I get the new safety photo real quick? Okay, so I'm back and I have the new photos. So here are the new photos with the uh, safety photos. And then I'm just gonna go through and choose a few of these. Let's go with, on Facebook Marketplace, I think you're only able to add 10 photos, but just note that if you use Facebook Marketplace, there are some people that are quite nasty and rude in the world. Oh, it let me add all of them. Oh, is it? Okay, while that loads, let's get our description done. So I already copied it. Oh, I did not copy it, maybe. Oh, all right. Copy this one. And we're going to paste it into here. Condition. If I want to put bountiful baby maybe I'm gonna write like that because they don't like you to have a in a uh, baby in your title so I'm gonna try that then we have the price so 430 if I have to go down I have to go down like I'm okay with that um, but I can't go back up so just be aware of that that's it we've got all the information that we need to add your photos well you can add up to 42 i added 28 all up which is weird because i thought i had 27 before oh well they're all there i've got today's safety photos i've got the older safety photos along with all of the photos of her details and now i can click next and choose where i want to um, list her so let's see what we have reborn kits and supplies what about a reborn baby I'm not sure under $200 nope Australian um, only reborns and silicon sales okay that sounds good for me um, reborn adoption Australia and New Zealand yep that sounds good for me there's these all these other random ones Okay, we're only adding it to these two. Why can't I choose more? Oh, I think, no. I'm not gonna add it to Marketplace. I don't wanna deal with the drama. I'd rather just add it to Facebook groups. So let's go ahead and post this. All right, so it's in review. Waiting for the admins to accept it. And this is what my listing is. Make sure you double check what uh, information is on there. So that was the whole video of listing the baby for sale with the correct information, the right amount of photos. Also, if you're selling and a buyer asks you for, for instance, like a random household item, such as like a coffee cup or um, a fork in the baby's hand or whatever, be prepared, I guess, to get those um, requests because I feel like that's pretty normal. Um, they just kind of want proof that you do have and or own the baby. 
Um, I was going to post the whole video of me selling her, but the person that ended up buying her knew me from my channel or the app, so she like felt like she trusted me and she was all cool with everything. And she was like, yeah, like no worries, I'll pay it. And yeah, so it went really smoothly and awesome, which I appreciate. Um, there was some um, problems where someone actually stole my photos, which was completely, I didn't know it was going to happen. So I've never had my photos stolen uh, before, especially like to sell a baby. I've had a set of photos stolen for like a fake website, but there's really nothing I can do because they change their website all the time. But anyways, I will talk about the, the stolen photos in another video and there will also be a box packing video to come of this baby which I think is kind of exciting like I wrapped everything up and made it all pretty and then you can actually see what I sold with the doll that was really fun because I didn't have a blanket so I had to buy one and like pack her at the post office but anyways that will be in the next video and I will make a video about the scammer that stole my photos because I don't appreciate that thank you so much for watching I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that it helped you um, learn a little bit about selling a reborn doll the main keys are that you want to have bright photos, a lot of photos, safety photos, and be able to talk to the seller and if they ask for something like a basic request, be able to, uh, you know, do that, like that basic request such as take a photo with a fork. If you ask a few too many times and they are not being able to produce those photos, then there's a high possibility that they do not have that baby. Bye, see you next time.